So we are going to learn about factors that affect solubility. And the first one is common ion effect. And the common ion effect decreases solubility. And the second one is a pH. The change in pH of the solution will affect the solubility. Increase in pH decreases solubility. And decrease in pH increases solubility. And the a third one is complex ion formation. In case of complex ion formation, solubility increases. So let's see the application of all these things in the coming examples. Let's take up the first effect on uh, solubility, the common ion effect. Calculate the molar solubility of calcium carbonate in a solution. That is 3.5, 10 to the power of negative 2 molar in calcium nitrate. The KSP of calcium carbonate is given. So what is it? It is asked. I have a calcium carbonate solution. Uh, there will be an equilibrium between the solid calcium carbonate and its ions. In the same solution, I am adding some calcium nitrate. The calcium ion is common to both of them. And we have to see how the presence of this calcium ion is going to affect the solubility of calcium carbonate. To start with, we need to know how much of calcium ions is there in solution. Therefore, let us write the ionization of calcium nitrate. Calcium nitrate, a salt of nitrate, will ionize completely. And therefore, the concentration of calcium ion from calcium nitrate will be the concentration of calcium nitrate. And um, the calcium carbonate equilibrium is also given there. And then we will uh, write down the concentration of calcium ion. The calcium ion, initially, if we, before and all, we just put it as 0. But now we are starting with 0 0.035 calcium ions. And the um, concentration of carbonate is 0. And the solubility, the change in uh, the value will be a plus S, plus S. And the, two, the end uh, concentrations of calcium and the carbonate ions are given. Substitute it into the KSP equation and get the solubility uh, uh, when calcium ions are present. And that comes as 2.5, 10 to the power of negative 7. Now, let's just compare it with a situation where I don't have any calcium nitrate. So, in that case, I have to just use the solubility product of calcium carbonate that is 8.7 to the power of negative 9. That will be equal to S square and the value of S comes as 9.3 to the power of negative 5. So now you compare the value of solubility in the presence of calcium nitrate and in the absence of calcium nitrate. You realize that the solubility S has decreased when calcium nitrate is present. Or in other words, we can conclude that presence of the common ion, calcium ion, shifts the equilibrium to left and the solubility of calcium carbonate decreases. Let's do the second effect on solubility, the pH. And I'm considering the hydroxides now. Consider a hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, ionizing as calcium ions and ion hydroxide ions. And I've given you the KSP also. So basically what is happening, if I increase the pH here, that means I am increasing the hydroxide ions. And if I apply Lee Shatley's principle, increasing the product and therefore the equilibrium will shift towards the reactor and solubility will decrease. Suppose I decrease the pH, decreasing the pH means I am going more towards the acidic side and decreasing the hydroxide ions and therefore the equilibrium will shift towards the right that is towards the product and solubility will increase. Let us do the effect of pH on solubility now. Uh, I am going to consider salt other than hydroxide. Consider the salt calcium fluoride. Calcium fluoride so solid will ionize with calcium ion and 2F minus. Fluoride F minus is the conjugate base of the weak acid HF. And you know that it can react with hydrogen ion. So in acidic medium, uh, fluoride will react with hydrogen ion to form HF. So or in other words, what's happening? We are removing the fluoride ion from system. Removal of a product, according to Lee Shatley's principle, will shift the equilibrium towards the product. So when the equilibrium is shifting towards the product, means the solid is dissolving. Or in other words, solubility is increasing. So all the salts which have the anion from weak acids, uh, will uh, the solubility will increase in acidic medium. Now, 
What about the salts that have anions from strong acids? Chloride, bromide and iodide. The salts that have chloride, bromide and iodide will remain unaffected by change in pH. And uh, I haven't put nitrate, chlorate and perchlorate in this because they never form solids. They, they form soluble salts. Let's predict the effect of solubility for the given salt. Let's do some questions. The salts given are magnesium hydroxide and you can see that calcium hydroxide to copper bromide. So for magnesium hydroxide, what will happen when I increase the pH? So increasing the pH means the solubility will decrease. The reason is when I'm increasing the pH, the concentration of hydroxide ion is increasing. Calcium uh, iodide, uh, when I increase the pH, it will not have any effect because it's an anion of strong acid. Then aluminum hydroxide, decrease in pH. Decrease in pH means I'm in, uh, decreasing the hydroxide ion concentration, therefore solubility will increase. And barium nitrate, increase in pH, uh, it's a salt of, uh, um, which has an anion from a strong acid, so it should not have any effect. Then uh, barium carbonate, Decrease in pH, solubility will increase because hydrogen ion will react with carbonate. So, same way you can see for the all the other cases also. So, basically, you I will sum it up what all uh, the increases and decreases in the coming slides. Let's do the third thing that affects solubility, complex formation. Calculate the molar solubility of silver bromide in a 1.5 molar ammonia solution. The KSP of silver bromide is given 7.7 10 to the power of negative 13. So in this case what happens is in the presence of ammonia the silver bromide will dissolve and form the complex Ag NSC twice plus and therefore the com formation constant of the uh, complex is also given. So we need to consider that also while calculating. So let's write down the first the equation, AGBR solid equation, it ionizes and the KSP is given. Then write down the complex formation equation also. The formation of uh, constant for AGNS3 twice plus is also given. So let's add up the two equations. The AG plus will get cancelled and I will get AGBR reacting with ammonia giving the complex. And whenever you add two equations, you know that you have to multiply their uh, k's. So when I multiply the two k's, I get the new k as 1.2 10 to the power of negative 6. Concentration of ammonia is given. So set up the ice table and uh, get the concentrations of S. So initial uh, concentration of the complex is 0. So once S is there, what you have to do is just substitute it into the solubility product equation and then get the value of S and the S comes as 5.2 10 to the power of negative 3. Now let us just compare this with when I don't have any ammonia. When I don't have any ammonia, ammonia there is no complex formation and the S comes as 8.8 10 to the power of negative 7. So when I compare the two S's and you realize that the solubility S is larger when I uh, have ammonia as compared to one when I have no ammonia. So that means that complex ion formation increases solubility. So this slide gives you the summary of whatever you have learned so far, the kind of salts and then the, what effect it has on the solubility when you have common ion effect or when you increase the pH or the decrease the pH or in acidic medium and uh, different kind of salts, complex formation. So it is sums up everything. All salts, the solubility decreases with common ion effect. So salts that have hydroxides, an increase in pH will decrease solubility and uh, decrease in pH will increase solubility. So pH that have salts that have anions from weak acid like salts like calcium chloride, or um, calcium cyanide or barium cyanide in an acidic medium, it decreases solubility. And the pH of salts that have anions from strong acids, example is say calcium chloride, uh, in an acidic medium, it has no effect. And then salts, all those salts that form complexes, complex formation increases solubility.